Hello, I'm Adam from Sam Gamers, and today we'll be continuing our Pyromania coverage with our review of the Cleaner's Carbine. Let's get started. First added in the Pyromania update, this diminutive Spitfire looks to be more of a machine pistol than a carbine, potentially taking influence from the TMP or MP5K, with its folding stock, hooded post sights, and apparently tiny caliber, but more on that later. In game, this weapon fires 35% slower than the stock SMG and houses 5 less bullets in its magazine. Upon killing an enemy with this monstrosity, which is hard to do in the first place due to the nerfs on its overall damage and ability to keep up the fire, the player holding this weapon receives guaranteed crits for 3 seconds, much like the KGB. In that time, all weapons held are eligible for crits, including whatever sniper rifle the sniper is holding, allowing for some pretty insane unscoped kills. This, however, is incredibly hard to do, as it involves taking the time to switch to your weapon before aiming at a target that's hopefully in front of you, and then taking the time to fire, all within the 3 second buff. It's possible to keep firing with crits, but the chances after killing one enemy that your magazine still has bullets in it is pretty low. You'll have to reload, which requires 1.1 seconds, so it's hard to take advantage of the crits after that. Dealing only 12 damage maximum per shot and dropping off to a measly 4, killing is not this gun's forte, especially with a .135 second fire time. Reloads aren't too kind either, taking an aforementioned 1.1 seconds to complete. The lack of random crits on this weapon means you're stuck with the less than amazing stats until you can get that tiny crit boost, and even then, it's hard to make proper use of it, especially with the switch times and the reload speed. Since this weapon needs all the help it can get, we need a sniper rifle that's excellent at body shots for taking down enemies with criticals, since scoping takes all too much time, and for whittling down an enemy's health before unloading with the carbine, because it takes over half the mag to kill a scout, assuming 100% accuracy. The stock rifle and tribalman shiv help support this weapon, since unscoped shots are not nerfed, and bleeding effects from the shiv help even more when confronted at close range. If headshots are a dime a dozen, consider the bizarre bargain. Unscoped body shots with criticals will not decrease her head count, so this makes the cleaner's carbine an adequate pairing with this rifle. I heavily advise against using the Hitman's Heatmaker with this weapon, though. To build up a kill streak for focus, one needs a solid secondary to keep them alive long enough to get to use it. If you're going for an all silence loadout, however, I can't stop you. Due to its lack of killing power, lack of crits, and shoddy guaranteed crit duration, the carbine is outshined by many other weapons that don't rely on hard to use and situational gimmicks to succeed. Despite its glorified namesake, if you're really looking to be effective, another secondary will probably mop up this weapon. Thanks for watching, this was Adam from Sam Gamers, and yay, we're finally done! So, onward to the degreaser, unless Valve decides to release that weird man versus machine thing that's looking to be actually kind of cool. So, you know. Whatever. Whatever works. Um, I'm still not opposed to covering yet another pack, because that means more weapons, but, you know, whatever. So, until then, subscribe for more Team Fortress 2 coverage, and until then, I'll see you later.